little bit about your medium because I see that you really sticked on to charcoal. Yeah. What about charcoal was just so exciting for you? So when I first used charcoal, it was amazing because I love using my hands. So being able to draw with my hands and just like use the entire paper and immediately start creating something, like I can come up with something faster and just um, like start getting more ideas. I love contrast. So whenever I do a drawing, I just like doing a lot of contrast, um, whether it be like with different mediums, like I love mixing mediums, like for example, paint with charcoal and using different textures as well. I want to talk a little bit more about your films because I've seen, I saw you my hint. It's um, the first one. Yeah. No, not the first one, the first one that I liked. That you liked? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't like really ashamed of it. I, I really enjoyed that one and it went into the Urban Film Festival, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. How was, was cool. that? Uh, yeah, that was exciting. That was the, the first time that anything has gotten in a film festival. Because it was really the first time that I really put like a film into a bunch of festivals. So that was super exciting. Were you putting your more of your artistic hat on, more of your writing hat on? Like what did you feel when making that one? Um, I feel like, yeah, it's very similar also to like drawing. So I just try to like have like the colors and everything reflect the feeling. So in that one, I was like trying to like reflect the feeling of um, someone like ghost ghosted you, mm -hmm. someone you really liked and I try to like um, reflect that in the color. So I use the color blue a lot because it felt very, very cold. So for your film that's coming out soon, mm -hmm. and I'm very excited for it, looks like the teaser I saw and I was like, ooh, this is like very interesting, yeah. um, black and white, and yeah. you've been telling me that it's actually in Spanish. Yes. So what is the story about? So that story, it's about my relationship with my mom. Like every mom, sometimes we have disagreements, and I wanted to focus on our relationship and how it has transformed. And also the reason I made it black and white is because it's about a time where I was putting my art away for some years because I was very confused in order to sustain myself financially and to help my mom financially. I feel suffocated because I didn't have enough time. Even if I try, I, I really feel like felt like I didn't have enough time to put into my art. This, out of all the, the films I've done so far, this is the one that really, like, really reflects my, my world the most. And it feels the most real, real to me. When I made this drawing, it was during a time where, like, I was challenging was myself to say more of how I, I feel, like, overthinking, being more honest. For a long time, I was very close and I was, it was very hard for me to speak up and to, even with my best friend or my family, it was very hard to express myself. And that's part of being an artist, you yeah. have to like really be vulnerable yes. with yes. what you're saying. A absolutely. It's absolutely. And also when you, because it's, it's easier to be vulnerable when you're making something in a sense, because when you're in the process of creating, it's just you and yourself. Well, like, this is supposed to be a, a window slash a book, and it's kind of like But learning to challenge, like ch little by little, challenging yourself to be more honest with people, whether you're feeling bad or how are you feeling. Learning to be honest can really um, inspire more ideas, I believe, because you're able to see things more clearly which opens your mind a lot more.